introduce this group to a new group of dogs. A more advanced. I call them seniors. What happens here? The meet and greet starts all over again. The song and dance. The tails raised high. He won't allow her to face him off, which is great. Beautiful. A nonchalant introduction. That's beautiful. And what that means is, I just want you to observe me. And he's going to check the environment first to see what kind of messages have been left by this new dog before he interacts with her directly. And that's what he's doing. And he'll take his time and Neanderthal over to her after he has looked at the environment in the way that dogs do it. And then he will accept her advances. And this is the way it's done with the big boys. You see? He'll smell her from the rear. And then he will allow for her to smell him. Very calmly tail not too high because he doesn't want to show the threat of being dominant yet submissive. Right? And he walks away. And this is a song and dance. It'll continue. See the light, slight wag, like happy, it's okay type. Yeah, he's, it's designed to push her. And that's what's happening. He's a master, just like Brownie, at producing personalities within animals. Yeah. He does it so well, the communication, squishy. She does the frontal touch, he likes that. She's being assertive. Most dogs love assertive behavior. They really do. Because it's a testament to who they are. Yeah. They love the challenge. His friendly gestures are so regal. So gentlemanly like that you can't help but like him. And I've never seen one, a dog that did not like him. You know? They're jealous of him. We got dog fingers. <laughs> but look. Look at him. He's a beautiful specimen. You know? So some of the males will be intimidated by him. But the females love them. They always have. You know, when we look at the pit bull, we see the power and the muscles. The physical characteristics are so beautiful, so masculine and powerful looking. But then you look at this guy and you see the wild and the large, big, Concept of personality along with the body type. Look how high he stands just to show how powerful he is. And you gotta respect it. Oh my gosh. I'm allowing for these two to interact before I bring other dogs out because this is it's happening so organically. She is becoming physically and mentally worn out. You see, the aggression gives them power. The socialization like this and the interaction, mentally, carefully making decisions, tires them out physically and mentally. Yeah, they're taking in everything. And that's what I like. This helps a dog to think, to calculate about what it's doing. Time to bring out some other dogs. This guy got into an altercation, um, misinterpreting the neurotic behavior of another dog going after a bird. And so, you know, there was mayhem, but he's okay. Let's see how he sees this new girl. Same thing, coming for aggression. 
I only see her. That's his buddy there, Squishy. Squishy and him are buddies. Okay. What do you think? You don't? <laughs> he wants to come back in. So we will let him. We'll continue.